With the NBA on its all-star break, college basketball takes center stage on Friday night. This is Across the Board with Jeff Grant here at SBRForum.com. We're going to take a look at the Green Bay Phoenix versus the Cleveland State Vikings at the Wolstein Center in Horizon League action play. Phoenix opened up as five-point road favorites in the betting market. Number has been knocked down to a four and a half in some spots, while the total remains at 129 and a half. When you look at the Phoenix, they have alternated wins and losses in their last seven games, coming off a 69-59 victory over the Detroit Titans as one-point home underdogs. The most important thing to look at in that game is the fact that the Titans came into that one ranked in the top 10 nationally and averaging 79.1 points per game. So the Phoenix were able to hold the Titans to 20 points below their season average. Uh, situationally, not one of the better spots for the Phoenix in terms of rest. Four and nine when playing with five or six days of rest the last two plus seasons. But I think they're going to get after it again on the defensive end like they've done the entire conference uh, season, given the fact that they lead all Horizon teams in scoring defense and defensive field goal percentage, limiting foes to 60.8 points on 38.5% shooting in conference play. That includes a 77-50 victory in the first meeting over Cleveland State on January 19th as 8.5 point home favorites falling just under the total of 128. When you look at this team, a lot of people are going to look to fade this team as a road favorite given the fact that they are 2-9 and nine away from home this season. But they have faced some stiff competition, especially in non-conference play, playing the likes of Virginia and Wisconsin. So I'd be very careful in just using that one single angle. Cleveland State looking to snap a two-game losing streak, coming off a 92-62 blowout loss to the Detroit Titans as 15-point road underdogs. So maybe the odds makers juiced up the spread maybe by a point, point and a half, but definitely Green Bay should be favored in this one. But given the fact that the last game for both of these teams, when you look over their past performances, have come against the same opponent with different results. Uh, the team is allowing 74.2 points per game in its last five contests, so the Vikings are not doing it on the defensive end. They're going to be facing the best defensive squad in the Horizon League. They have won the last five meetings at this particular venue, and maybe this very young roster. This was one of the better mid-major teams over the last three, four seasons, but they lost a lot of their points and rebounds uh, given the fact to graduation and players moving on away from the program. So maybe this team is starting to turn things around, not on the defensive end, but definitely offensively, with the bench especially averaging 24.8 .8 points over the last four contests. 0-2 straight up and against the spread off a blowout loss of 20 points or more since the 2010-11 campaign. And something that I looked at, if I'm looking to lay the points in this situation, the Phoenix have covered all three of their ATS wins, our games as road favorites. Uh, they've covered all three of those under the spread under third-year head coach Brian Wardell. That gives me confidence that if they do win this game, they are going to cover this number. May, that may be juiced up, like I said, by a point, point and a half, given the result uh, over the Detroit Titans for these two teams last time out. So I'm going to uh, lay the points here. My official pick is going to be the Green Bay Phoenix minus four and a half versus the Cleveland State Vikings in Horizon play, uh, Horizon play action on Friday night. This has been another edition of Across the Board with Jeff Grant here at SBRForum.com. For any further information on this game or any other on the Friday night board, you can follow me on Twitter at Jeff Grant Sports.